today we're going to learn about the three circles. I felt very compelled to tell you about this, to teach more about this, um, so that you can really understand your niche. This is your recession-proof shield, the convergence of the three circles. A lot of people seem to get confused as they're reading chapter 7 of the book of Dream to Destiny. Um, so I wanted to make this video explain it much better for you so that you can really benefit from your highest and best use, which is your niche. Okay, so let's take a look at these three circles. Gifts and talents is the first circle. And I want you to mainly think about your gifts. What are you so gifted at that it comes so naturally to you? You didn't have to learn it. It just came naturally. You were born with it. You were acting like this when you were a toddler, maybe even a baby. Okay, so these are your gifts. And then your dreams and passions. What are your dreams? What are the deepest desires of your heart? Okay, you're going to write all those down. What are you passionate about? What are you deeply, strongly passionate about? And then you'll write all those down. And then down here, your opportunities. I didn't just say economic opportunities like we say in the book, because let's say you wanted to do your three circles to find your soulmate or to find your ideal place to live. So it doesn't necessarily need to be economic opportunities because you can do these three circles for anything, anything that you want to bring into your life. So that's why I just say opportunities. So right now, I want to talk with you a little bit about a superstar, someone who became the best in the world and the best in his world. Now, our goal with the niche is not to necessarily become the best in the entire world, but we might become among the best in the world at what we are passionate with and gifted with, or we might become the best in our world. Think about, I am my best me. In order to be my best me, that means I have to find out what my niche is. I have to find out what my calling in life is, what my divine destiny is here on earth. So this is the way that we're going to find how am I going to be my best in this world. So let's look at an example of someone who is working within their highest and best use, their niche. Let's think about Justin Bieber the superstar all over the world. He has become the best in the world or among the best in the world. Okay, he was a normal 12-year-old boy living in Canada. He happened to have a gift for singing and performing. He also happened to have a passion for singing and performing. Guitar as well. He had a gift for guitar and a passion for guitar. He also had a dream to become a pop star. An opportunity came up and he got discovered on YouTube. What if his mom would have said no to the talent scout that called her from YouTube and said, no, I'm sorry, uh, my, we're doing fine. Then, then she would have had to wait around for another opportunity. But that was a big opportunity. She said, yes, I'll bring him to you. Yes, you can train him. And ever since then, he has been doing awesome as an incredible singer. He is making tons of money, he's a millionaire, and he's working within his highest and best use. He's working within his niche, okay? He is one of the top singers, performers in the world right now. So that's just one little example. Another example, think of Oprah. I know that's a big example, um, you know, because she's been so successful for the past 25 years. But the reason why I'm going to share with you some of these big examples is because I want to convince you that these three circles are real and true and that this niche is true. And I want to motivate you to find your niche. So I'm just going to share with you a couple more examples. Oprah. Oprah's gift was talking, communicating, communicating connecting with people. These are just some of her gifts. Her passions are helping people and promoting people. Her dreams possibly are having her own talk show. 
having her own 25-year successful talk show, having her own network, the own network. That was a dream. So, so, she, so the opportunities were to work in her own talk show for 25 years. That was her opportunity. And then she got an opportunity to start her own network. Own. So her niche is being a phenomenal talk show host. That's her niche. Oprah stayed focused for 25 years on her niche of being an excellent talk show host. Where did that get her? Her show was a hit, hit show for 25 solid years. I mean, that right there is amazing. And then she became a billionaire. And where did this get her? She is considered one of the most influential people in the world. Now let's take a look at Michael Jackson. His gifts, singing, dancing, performing. His passions, singing, dancing, performing. His dreams to make a big positive difference in this world. Now let's look at opportunities for Michael Jackson. He had opportunities to go on tour and to perform. He had opportunities to perform on television and he took all those opportunities. Then right here, what is his niche? His niche is singing and dancing performer. He stayed focused on that niche for his entire career. And where did that get him? The king of pop. Okay, so, so those are just a couple examples. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about my life and we're going to fill in the blanks and I'm going to use myself as the guinea pig for you. I'm going to start with gifts and talents. But I'm going to focus on mainly gifts. After I redid my Dream Touch questionnaire this year, because I do it every year, I looked at my gifts and talents first, focusing mainly on my top gifts. And then I filled in the circle with my top, top gifts. Only gifts first and then talents. And let's do that right now. Okay. So let's fill in the first circle. And if you want, go ahead and do this right now for yourself. While I'm doing mine, go ahead and do yours with your, you know, for yourself if you want, or at least to get started, because that way if you get started, then that means it'll be easier to finish. So now go ahead and look for something with a perfectly round shape, like um, the top of a glass or the bottom of a glass or a coaster. You can go ahead and pause this. Okay, now go ahead and do your first circle right here on a, on a piece of blank paper with lines would be good, lined paper. And then now do your second circle for dreams and passions. And now do your third circle right here. So that there's the convergence and put enough room, leave enough room for your niche. Okay, I just put my top four gifts right here. I did not put all of my gifts and talents. When I did this exercise on my own, I put all my gifts and talents, every single thing that I could possibly think of. Um, but right now, for the sake of time, I just put a few things. Encourager, I'm a natural encourager. Positive, I'm naturally positive and upbeat. And I know this only because that's what my mom said ever since I was born, she told me this. Inspiring. I think I'm naturally inspiring. A lot of people who see our uh, Wife Swap episodes say that I was so inspirational. And do you know I never knew that I was inspirational until after that episode aired. And fourth, connecting with people. I have an easy time connecting with people, whether I'm on stage, whether being on that TV show. Every time it re-airs, I get calls from all over the world with people saying, I connected with you. I connected with you. So I looked you up on Google so that I realized, oh, okay, that's a gift, connecting with people. But again, you want to put all your gifts that you can possibly think of. Some of my other gifts that I mentioned that, that I'm not going to write here are stage presence, pleasant personality, hard worker, driven, entrepreneur, being attractive, that's a gift, and enthusiasm. Now my talent, remember how I told you I do talents last, a talent is sales. I was trained in sales. I wasn't born a natural salesperson. I was trained at the Fortune 500 companies that I went to and I was trained in college. And this made me a, an excellent, skilled salesperson. 
Although I have to believe in what I'm selling. I can't just sell anything. So absolutely, I have to believe in what I'm selling. Go ahead and think of all of your gifts and talents that you can think of. Grab your Dream Touch questionnaire right now, if you have that handy, and fill this in and pause the video. Okay, so now we're going to go on to Dreams and Passions in the second circle. Now, again, I just put four. I'm just going to do my, my top four in each of the circles. But when I did this exercise on my own, I wrote out as many things that I could think of. Now I'm going to go ahead and read you some of my dreams and passions. The dream program kit to be a household name all over the world. Financially free, that we are financially free forever. That we have work-life balance forever. That we are self-employed forever. I love being self-employed. Now here's some other dreams that I did not write down. The Dream Program Kit selling to millions around the globe, changing their lives for the best. My passions, the Dream Program, God, you, my family, encouraging people, inspiring people, helping people. I loved filming the reality TV show. I don't like what they did in the end because they did a lot of creative editing, but I loved the filming of it. It was really, really fun for me. So now I want you to go ahead and look at your Dream Touch questionnaire and fill in all of your dreams and passions, every dream and passion that you can think of. Go ahead and pause this video right now. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and look at the opportunities, all of our opportunities. We're gonna brainstorm here. Brainstorm with yourself, brainstorm with your loved ones, with your spouse, with your best friend, but make sure they're positive people. Brainstorm with me if you want. It's very important to only talk to very positive people who are not gonna crush your dream. So uh, feel free to set up a mentoring time with me and I'm happy to help you through this. Now we're going to look at, again, my top four opportunities within the area of my gifts and talents, dreams and passions. So as I say mine, be thinking of what yours are and you can even be writing down as I'm talking what you think your opportunities are. Dream to Destiny reality TV show where I'm the co-executive producer or the executive producer, where I am in charge of this show, Mark and I. Infomercial, a television infomercial for the Dream Program Kit. The V-Book, I call it V-Book, a video book, our Dream to Destiny book on video. V-Book, Tia. The fourth, audio book. We absolutely want to come out with an audio book for Dream to Destiny. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read you all of my brainstormed opportunities. And also, I wrote here, what opportunities allow me to use all or most of my natural resources, gifts, talents, dreams, and passions? What opportunities are going to allow me to use all those natural resources? So here's my brainstorm. Have Dream to Destiny, not only on CDs, but also an MP3 for downloads. Later on, maybe we'll do workshops all over. But see, this is not within my highest and best use. And I wanted to share this. I think this is very, very important. Speaking in public is something that I need to grow in, honestly. That is Mark's gift, my husband. So as we start making more money with the Dream Program, and as we can do that as our full-time job, then Mark can be helping me do the dream workshops. But I really want him to be working within his highest and best use because if I work within my lowest and worst use, I'm going to make a fool out of myself and we're not going to help the dream program. We're not going to help many people. So that's why I need him to use his gifts with the workshops. So that's why we did not put workshops now, but later on down the road, once we're making enough money with the dream program, then we can do more dream workshops with Mark being the main spokesperson. So go ahead and pause this video right now and go ahead and brainstorm all your opportunities. Even say a little prayer. Ask to find out what are all of your opportunities. I'm sure you'll get the answer. Okay, now let's put it all together. And now we're going to look at our unique niche. What, what can you do 
that you're using all of your gifts and talents, dreams and passions, and opportunities. For me, it's TV. I like working in TV. I love it. It's fun. I had a blast filming that Wife Swap episode, like I mentioned. I've had that dream in my heart since I was a little girl. I used to always do commercials on my own. Everyone told me that I looked like a walking commercial. <laughs> Um, so it was a natural gift for me. So I want to do more TV work. And also another thing is that another reason why I like TV is I like it that they edit because I make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes and I love it that they can go back and edit all my mistakes out. So I'd like to have my own TV show, Dream to Destiny, AKA Extreme Dream Makeover. I thought that would be really, really fun. I'd also like to do an infomercial for the Dream Program Kit. That would achieve my dream of the Dream Program Kit being a household name and selling to millions around the world and changing lives for the best. Also, I'd like to do video. I'd like to do more uh, videos and put, do them in a professional uh, TV studio and put them out for sale to the public to really encourage people in every way. Have, definitely, I want to have a V book, uh, a Dream to Destiny book on video, audio, absolutely. So anyway, but my niche that I'm going to stay focused on is actually, I'm going to star right now, it's the infomercial. Because the infomercial will give us the money to go ahead and do everything else. The infomercial will give us the income to do our own show where we can be in absolute control. In order to be executive producer, we have to spend all the money. It has to be our money. So that is what I'm going to focus on. So now I want you to think about your three circles. Where, what is the convergence? What is your unique niche that you are going to focus on? Go ahead and brainstorm right now and write in your unique niche that you're going to focus on. And again, you're going to be using all three of the circles. Okay, go ahead and pause the video right now. So hopefully you came up with an excellent niche to focus on for the next few months. Now, I want to let you know that this niche will evolve, it'll change, it'll grow. It's okay. It's totally, absolutely okay for this to change. Infomercial is actually a new development that, uh, that we just realized because what happened is an opportunity came up. Somebody called me out of the blue, a producer who specializes in infomercials, and he says that he wants to do an infomercial. Uh, for the dream program kit to make that a household name and sell all over the world changing people's lives and That was my vision, but I didn't know how to do it and then the open door came With this um, person calling me and now we are walking through the open door so That infomercial is a new development that now just in the past few weeks. I need to stay focused on right now so it used to be a TV show that I was focused on, but now it's the infomercial because that's going to bring the income to do all the other stuff. Okay, so your unique niche. This, again, is your highest and best use. This is your best you. You are being your very best when you are functioning in this space. Don't we want to function in our highest and best use? Yes. This is your calling. Honor your calling. Be true to yourself and honor your calling. This is your sweet spot. This is where you want to hit the ball on your tennis racket. This is the sweet spot of your tennis racket right here. You want to always be hitting the ball right there in your sweet spot. You know, same thing with golf. There's a sweet spot in golf. There's also a sweet spot in a lot of sports. So um, just think that your unique niche is your sweet spot. It is your, you always want to be functioning in this spot. This is your divine destiny here on earth. Now we don't just have one destiny. We have several destinies, all to achieve a higher purpose, a higher calling. For example, maybe my divine destiny right now is to have this phenomenal, encouraging, inspirational infomercial. And it's going to be getting the word out for the Dream Program Kit all over the world. And it's going to be changing people's lives for the best. That is my divine destiny right now. So let's say in two years, my destiny is going to be to have a reality TV show called Dream to Destiny, 
where I'm helping people one-on-one -on -one bring their dreams into reality and I'm traveling all over the world. I want you to think about right now, ask yourself, is this niche that I wrote down my highest and best use? And I want you to answer yes or no, Y or N right here. Is this my sweet spot? Yes or no, Y or N right here. Is this my destiny right now in my life? Yes or no. And you, you will know in your heart, you will know in your gut the answer to these questions. If you picked a no to any of these, please go to dreamprogram.com forward slash store so that you can uh, get a mentoring package, whichever one is right for you. I'm happy to help you. Our prices are very, very reasonable. So I want you to be focusing always within your highest and best use, and I want you to say no, no, no to every opportunity that comes your way that is not within your highest and best use, okay? Let's promise that. No, no, no to every opportunity that is not leading you to your dreams, that is not using your gifts, and that is not using your passions. Thank you, and make it a great week. Bye-bye.